Well, here we are again for another session. Um, last time you saw me, I was doing a little method feeder fishing at the height of summer. It's now coming into winter. Things are getting a bit colder and wrapped up. Um, so we're going to be doing a different sort of fishing. We're going to be doing some feeder fishing on a big exposed coastal gravel pit. And uh, I'll tell you how coastal it is, that direction, about 800 yards, we've got the English Channel. So let's get this rod cast out and we'll go through what we're going to be doing today. So just having a little look at how I'm fishing today, I'm going to be fishing with little helicopter rigs using our ready heli kit, a little short hook length, couple of maggots and uh, a Preston window feeder on the end. Going to be fishing on bite alarms. Um, coming into the colder months, I'm not going to be getting lots and lots of bites. So it's more a case of casting out, rod on the alarm, having to sit down, just waiting for a bite. But I'm going to be regularly recasting as we're not right into the depths of winter. So I'll probably recast every 15 minutes or so. So that's the rig. Let's get this one loaded up. With these window feeders, it's just a case of putting a few maggots in. Got some black ropes here from Sonny Bates. Just plug the feeder, that's that ready to go. So having a little look at the rig we're using today, um, I kind of scaled it down. Um, it's a scaled down tent rig. And what I've got, I'm using eight pound feeder line that might seem a bit excessive for the size fish we're catching, but the fact is I'm constantly recasting. The line's getting a stretch every time I cast. It's a gravel pit, so there's, there's underwater snags, bits of gravel, old bits of workings. You never know quite um, what the line's going to be running across. So this eight pound is, is really strong. It's one of my favourite lines, this feeder line. And then looking down at the actual rig itself, we've got a little ready heli kit. And then just below that, I've put on one of our turbo beads. Now these beads are a quick change bead, which is useful when you're say method feeder fishing, but I've found this extra use for them. So it's a good way for attaching your feeder. It's a really quick change. Um, so you can change your feeders, which is what I've had to do today. Um, it was quite calm when I started. So I was using a 30 gram window feeder, but as the winds picked up, I need to be able to maintain my casting accuracy. So I've had to just go up an extra size on the feeder. So I've gone up to a 45. Um, so it's really quick change. I can just slide that turbo bead up, put a new feeder on and then lock that back in. And then hook length, if you have a look at that hook length, you can see it's just, it's hanging out the side. And if I was to use um, just an ordinary mono or a lighter line, you don't get quite the kick out effect of this fluorocarbon that I've got on there. So I'm actually using our six pound drop shot fluorocarbon. And as you can see, what with the little rig sleeve as well, it's just making that hook length hang out a little bit further. So there's no tangles involved. And then hook on there, I've got a size 16 Corum specialist hook. And I've actually tied that on by knotless knot. And what that has the effect of doing is it just kicks that hook out at a very slight angle and it, um, it makes it really snag in the fish's mouth. So it's a, it's a great way of tying an eyed hook on if you just want a slightly different approach. So that's the rig. On there, I've been fishing two maggots. Um, I'm fishing two rods on alarms. So on one rod, I've got two white maggots, and on the other rod, I've got two red maggots. And then in the feeder, as you've seen, is just half a dozen maggots in there, and then just plugging the feeder off with some Sonny Bates black roach, and then out she goes. So that's the rig, it's deadly, it catches anything. Um, I've had carp over 20 pound on this, Today, I've had a right selection of fish. I've had some, I've had tench, um, roach, rud, perch, just really need a bream. And that's the full, full sweep. 
I'll add an eel as well. So there we go. That's the Catch Anything rig. Great for fishing on alarms. And uh, I'm gonna get this one loaded up, get it back out in the lake. Just to talk about how I'm casting, um, so I'm fishing to a clip. I've measured using wraps, I've gone 11 wraps, so it's 44 yards, and um, I've got the line in my line clip on the spool. I've got a marker on there, little line marker. And when I cast, I'm going to slightly overcast so that I'm going to hit the clip with the rod tip up in the air. Then I'm just going to let the feeder go forward, taking the rod down with it. And by overcasting, that's going to give me a nice, tight, straight line, straight to where I'm fishing. And these little window feeders, with the weight at the bottom, they cast like absolute bullets. So I know wherever I aim this is where it's going to go. So let's get this cast out. So I'm bringing it behind me, lining up, casting, rod tip up in the air, hits the clip. Rod drops forward, rod tip under the water, bury in the line, take the line out the line clip, bait runner on. Now rather than pull the rod back, I'm actually going to just feed line out from the bait runner because I don't want to move that feeder. I'm keeping a nice tight line. That's the bobbin on. And down the end there, you can see my line marker just off the rod tip, so I know I'm fishing exactly the right distance out. So the aim today was to um, try to catch some roach, and I have had a few, um, but it's turned into a day where we've just caught whatever's come along. I um, started the day by measuring out all my rods to the same distance, so my spod rod and my two fishing rods, um, measured them out to 11 wraps, and the first thing I did was I opened a tin of, tin of hemp, and I've just put half a handful of hemp in the, in the spawn, and ground bait, I've just kind of loosely squeezed it, and just placed it in there. By doing it like that, it doesn't get all caught up in the mechanism. And that's what I've spotted out. I put four spots of that out first thing, and then I've been fishing me little window feeders with the same combination of black roach and maggots over the top of my little spawn mix. I've not put much out because it's um, coming towards winter, water's cooling down, wind's gone northerly, um, temperatures are dropping overnight. so just sort of scaled everything back to what I might do in the summer. So that's how I've approached the session and uh, caught plenty of fish. an interesting day. I've kind of baited with a hope for some roach, but I've only had a few. Nothing monstrous. That one there. I've had a couple of lovely tench. Um, yeah, I baited with some hemp and some black roach, and I've just been fishing the little window feeders with a few, um, a few maggots in and uh, a little bit of black roach ground bait. And as I say, a couple of tench and absolutely loads 
of perch. Right, they're a bit lively, so I think I'm going to get these back. So I've had a lovely day, caught loads of fish. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.